Hello everybody, Andrea Trousta here with Dental Health Tutoring. Now you might be wondering, when is a good time to start studying for the board exam? Now, I tell students at least three months ahead of time, but preferably six months ahead of time. Now, for a lot of you, you might be wondering, wow, that seems like a long time to study for an exam. But this is why I tell you to study that far in advance. Um, pretty much because, you know, life gets in the way. You may have every intention of studying for six hours every day, you know, all day, but that doesn't always happen. And in those six months, you may become sick. So for a week or two weeks, you won't be able to study, nor do you want to study. There's no point trying to study when you're sick because then you don't learn anything and all of that time has been a waste. Or just things happen, you know, there's either um, family emergencies, you might have to work a little bit harder for one week or two weeks or three weeks to make some extra money and then you're not able to study. But, you know, there's only four weeks in a month. So let's say you plan to study a month before the board exam, that won't happen because things always get in the way. But at least if you start to study six months ahead of time, even if you miss a day or two or a week or, or two, that's okay and you still have lots of time. So I do say six months because then that allows you to kind of plan out how you want to study because I do say that you should study at least two hours every day, preferably six hours every day. Now, if you work full time, or if you have kids, or you have other things that you have to do. Studying six hours a day would be impossible. So if you're able to study two hours every day, then that's perfect. So if you work full time, if you have other things to do, then you might only be able to study, let's say an hour in the morning and then an hour at night. But that's okay because at least you're looking at something every single day. But I do also suggest that it doesn't hurt to take a day off, you know, every, once in a while, every two weeks or so, you know, take a Saturday or Sunday off and do not study at all because that does help. Because if you find yourself studying too much, you quickly become exhausted. You become annoyed at yourself that you feel like you have to study so much. And then when you try to study, it just doesn't work and you're not able to retain as much. But there's also such a thing as not studying enough. So if you plan to study, let's just say 10 hours on a Monday and then 10 hours next Saturday, that's not helping you because you are actually studying too much in one day. And then when you think of your Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you learned nothing. So, so pretty much everything that you learned from the Monday or at least a lot of it, you will not remember by Saturday. So it does help to sort of study a little bit every single day so that you are always picking up a little something, you know. Um, so that's why I do say to study for the board exam at least three months in advance, but six months if you're able to. And if you need help, you guys, let me know because my um, board exam prep academy for dental hygiene students and dental assistant students is now open and you have full access to everything. There's modules in there, there's case studies, there's mock exams, there's online um, lectures. I actually teach, you know, online so you can hear me, but at the same time, if you're thinking, well, I kind of would like to read something, there's PowerPoints also. So if you, study easier if you're reading something, well, I, I have that for you. Or if you study easier listening to me or, you know, whoever, then I have that for you, you also. Plus I have mock exams. I have case studies. We do live tutoring every single Sunday. So there's tons there. So if you're wondering where to start, I can help you. If you're wondering, um, am I studying all the right things? I can help you because inside my full course, I have everything. So you never have to wonder if you're studying enough or studying too much because I, I will tell you exactly what to study. And if you need help, if you have questions, I am right there. So if you need help, let me know. I do hope this, this helped, um, but to do, I guess, a quick recap. So there is such a thing as studying too much. There's such a thing as studying not enough. Aim to study for the board exam at least three months ahead of time, preferably six months. So then that way you don't have to be as stressed and as overwhelmed. 
So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.